Hey guys, this is Kevin from Ready Made RC. Hello, I'm Ryan. How you guys doing? Today we're going to show you some more uh, new products from uh, we've gotten in this week, and uh, we're going to start out with Nana Sky Hunter. I'm sure a lot of you guys have this, and now we have a bottom protector for it. So fancy, fancy. Just cut along these lines right here. You can see them in the shine there. And eventually, you get down to something like this. And if you sand both sides, we recommend that at least for, for best adhesion, you come up with something like this. And you can put the camera here. And what this does is protects the bottom of your you know, sky hunter, keeps your EPP from getting nicked up on landings. Actually, if you're good enough, you can do a takeoff and uh, touch and go with this if you get enough speed and don't break your prop. So, pretty cool little add on. It's really cheap, it's only $5. Protect your Nano Sky Hunters out there. Yeah, it looks nice. Uh, what's it made out of? Just regular plastic? Uh, yeah, I think it's like an ABS, like almost like a like a Lexan type stuff almost. Cool. So takes, light, lightweight and takes smooth. a beating pretty good then. Yes, it does. Nice. Cool. All right. Uh, what else we got in the bin over here? Uh, we got the new uh, Dow um, Cyclone props in. The uh, 5045C. Uh, got them in multiple colors. We got them in. Transparent orange, regular orange. Compare that with the regular there in the camera. Yeah. Go to the side in here. Uh, here's the regular orange here. Here's the transparent orange. It's gonna be kind of hard to tell in the light there. Doesn't show up well on camera. Yeah, that's alright. But one's semi-transparent, so. Yep. Uh, these props are pretty good. They uh, handle uh, uh, cornering very well. Um, the reaction time when you do a hard flip or roll is pretty nice. A uh, little bit less on the prop wash with the uh, props, so they're How's pretty the good. How's the uh, They're pretty good. I haven't tried them myself yet, but I've, I've heard a bunch of people that have tried them and they like them a lot, so um, they're pretty good. We just got those in today, so like I said, multiple colors, so pick those up. Uh, we got the gem fan props. Yes. yes. The blinged out version with the uh, the chrome and the gold. Yep. Chrome and gold with the gem fan props, the master series. You get a close up shot of those too. There's the gold right there. Look at that bling. Yeah. Very <laughs> nice. Huh? That's the gold. There's the silver. Um, they come in the uh, 543 style and the 545 bull nose style that everybody's used to. Uh, again, I haven't tried these props myself, but uh, no. It's a typical airfoil that yeah. we're used to. I know I like the 545 tri blades. Brandon so. Kilborn says, damn, look at that gold. Yeah, yeah bling. Yeah, and gold, Matt yeah. says, love the nano. Mm. Yes. Very nice. Okay, well, that's pretty much it with the props. Uh, let's go to these. You want to do the DYS stuff? Yeah, let's look at those. Okay, uh, I'll just grab everything out of here. Got a lot of new stuff in from DYS, uh, yeah. some little three inch props that have been, yeah. I know Joe, you've been using those things on your little quad, and, uh, yeah. what, what size is that? These are the... What, your little quad? 122. 120, oh, you're using the Hellbender 122, yeah. okay. Yeah, so um, the new props we got in, we've got the 2030s, uh, these are good for your uh, two inch setup. Um, they come in like the jelly colors that DYS has of their props. Um, they come four CW and four CCW in a pack, so you get eight props total. So, so you, you can do a lot of crashing there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so you have some replacements in there for that. Um, like I said, really good for a two-inch setup. We also have the uh, 3045 uh, props as well for three-inch setup too. Um, just got those in this week. Um, here's a really exciting one. Um, these are the new 1102 motors. So small, I can't get them out of the bag. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's go to the side view here. I mean, you can see how tiny that is. I mean, it fits on the tip of my finger there. And yeah. Put your hand behind it, it might focus it better. There we yeah, go. that thing is tiny. Yeah, I mean, this thing is small. Um, this is good for uh, the two inch props. And these fit three inch props on them as well. I think it's just two S, right? Just two S, yeah, okay. Um, these are uh, 3.5 grams, um, so really light for a nice small setup. Um, we've got those in the 10,000 kV, the 7,800 kV, and the 7,500 kV. And we also have the 1104 size of these motors as well. A little bit taller. Yep. So what uh, ESC would you use on a 6 amp or a 10 amp? 
Um, well, that's another thing too, is we just got in the uh, 10 amp as well. I would probably say a 10 amp would be... Maybe 10 amp for the 1104. 10 amp for the 1104. Here's the 10 amp right here. And here is the new 30 amp. Yes. Those are D-Shot, right? Yeah, these uh, these 30 amp uh, ESCs support D-Shot 600 and D-Shot 300. Um, this is the 30 amp, and we also have the 20 amp in stock now as well, and that also supports D-Shot 600. It has the nice tabs on the end, so you can easily solder to it. And to compare motor sizes, let's look at the new spec motor from Ooh, Cobra. Yeah. The spec wing racing motor uh, for the FPV WRA. And it's a 2210, and it's a pretty fast little motor, but the point is, everyone being spec, you've got the same motor, you're going the same speeds, and if you can get a side comparison here, compare that to the little tiny motor just for fun. Okay, there's the big motor. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> just look at that. <laughs> Would you just look at that? <laughs> I mean, look how look how small that is compared to the big one. I mean, this this little guy is just unreal, and it's got a lot of power for how small that thing is too. So, if you guys are interested in, in the uh, spec wing racing, we do have the uh, Vass spec wing kit, so you can build your own. And uh, check out the rules at fpvwra.net. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's uh, that brings us to our last item, right? Yeah. What else do we have here? That's it of the DYS stuff. Um, okay, so two. Two really cool things here. Um, first off, we have the Spectrum F4 flight controller. Uh, let's get a side shot of that. Um, the Spectrum F4 flight controller uh, comes with uh, the Race Flight 1 firmware on it. Um, so you just hook this thing up to Race Flight and you're ready to go with it. Um, I wish they had a receiver built into that. That's the one thing I'm missing is the, the DSMX built-in receiver. Yeah, this uh, this has the 32 kilohertz gyro um, in it, and it also does pass-through for your ESCs and everything, so you can upgrade your ESCs straight through the board. Um, it does 2 to 6S input on it as well. It's so a wide voltage range. Yeah, so yeah. typical flight controller standards that's in the new flight controllers that are out these days. So Normal 36 by 36 size. So. Yeah, so... That brings us to the next flight controller. Yeah. So this is a little, a little bit cooler in my opinion, yep. especially for those uh, Tyrannus users out there. Yeah. Now this is the FR Sky flight controller. Um, it's an F3 Evo flight controller with an M XM Plus receiver built into it. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature having the receiver built into Let's it. Take a side view. You can see it there. there the antenna's diversity antenna is already built into it. So are those replaceable? Check that board out. Yes. Yeah, you can pull this right off there. The typical. Yeah, if you can see that there, I don't know if it's going to focus right. But it's all built in. You've got a lot less yeah. wiring to do. Um, you know, it's nice having your receiver already in there. Now, uh, it's important to note that the XM Plus receiver doesn't do telemetry, so it's only one way through on this with uh, the XM Plus. So, for the size, I'll take it though. That's yeah, nice. definitely. Got uh, lots of thumbs on that. It also has, uh, I didn't see this on the bottom here, but it also has the, uh, let's go to the side view again, it also has the uh, built-in SD card slot too as well for your black box needs and everything. So. And this is an F3? Yes, right. F3 okay. Evo. So that oh, means yeah. it's SPI 8K? Yeah, S SPI 8 kilohertz, yep. Um, so you can hook this up to, uh, you can try race flight out on that or any, uh, any of the firmwares that you would like to use. Um, Pretty good board for that. I suggest picking that up too if you're a Tyrannus user. Definitely. All right. And uh, that's, all got, right? that's all the new products we have right now. If you guys have any questions or anything, we'd be happy to answer them. Keep an eye on our new products section. It's always uh, evolving every day as we add new new products. So. Def definitely go to our uh, ready-made uh, YouTube channel as well and subscribe to our channel there too to see new product videos and everything of stuff that we have new coming out for you guys. Adding a lot of Nano Sky Hunter parts. So if you've uh, if you've unfortunately wrecked your Nano Sky Hunter, we have uh, a lot of uh, servos and you know the replacement motors, ESCs. And we have the uh, fuselage and all, all that stuff now. So check it out. Yeah, definitely. Any questions, uh, Joe? We have one question from Ryan Walker. It says, how does Kevin look so good? I, it's, it's tough. Every morning I get out of bed and That's it. you know I don't have to do anything. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of nice just looking this good. <laughs> Getting lots of thumbs. Awesome.
That's good. Thanks, guys. Uh, the quad addiction gates updates. Quad addiction gates updates. Yes. Uh, well, we're going to be selling them. I'm sure you saw the the, uh, the video from Justin. Uh, we don't want to open them up for pre-order until we have them on their way to us. We don't like holding your money for for longer than uh, the time trying. it takes to get in a container over here. So. Uh, after Chinese New Year, they'll go into full production and uh, they'll be on their way to us. So we're happy to be working with Justin and Quadiction. Uh, Justin's a really nice guy too, so we're glad to be working with yeah. him on this. How about the gates though? They're pretty awesome too. Yeah, really easy to <laughs> set up and everything. Just throwing them on the ground and they set up. Yeah, nice. the video he did yesterday was awesome. Like he just pulled the gate out and was like, boom, there it is, yeah. and then folded it right back up. It'll you know, have uh, Quadiction, Quadiction logos on it as well as ours. So. Uh, somebody asked uh, if we are going to the three-inch race tomorrow, Buckeye FPV. Are you guys? I am not. I don't even have a three-inch quad set up. I Honestly, either. I need to get that going. Got to buy some vortexes. Isn't yeah. Came in, yeah. 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 We have the blade vortex, the one fifty millimeter. I think it is. I think, or it's, is it? I think it's one fifty. Yeah, it's one fifty. We also have the immersion RC one too. Maybe just grab a couple of those real quick. Go and race. Go stomp some people. We have some of our. Uh, <laughs> We're confident. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Could try. Run Kim Swift two. Yeah, we've got those on order. They're on their way to us. Uh, is that the session looking thing? No, no, that's, that's the that's new the HD. FPV camera. I mean, no, that's, I'm not sure which one that is, but uh, this, the uh, Swift 2 has the OSD built into it, kind of like the Fox here. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I did see on Facebook earlier that Runcam's got a uh, Is RMRC going out. to bring out a Rifle 1306? Ooh. If you guys want it. <laughs> it's a possibility. You tell if us if, if you want it, we'll, we'll make it for you. It depends on the uh, success of the 2206 rifles, and right now they're going pretty well, so um, if it We'll look to expand that possibly in the future. So, somebody said props. They want to see all the props, I guess. All well, the props. we don't have all the props here. They're just you know. Yeah, we don't have all the colors. We have just got uh, you check, to check the new product section for that. But uh, yeah, yeah we've we got can show some of them again. You go to the side view, Joe. Boom. Look at that cyclones. The cyclones with the you know the curved. Curve tips. It's supposed to be more efficient. Uh, I, I, I don't know if they really are or not, but uh, the graphs claim to be so. Yeah, and we also uh, special color of the cyclone props. We also have I forget how to say it, it was like noctuolescent or something like it's that. It's like an off clear. But it glows in the dark. So how okay. awesome is that? You know, flying at daytime with glow in the dark props. It's good to go. <laughs> you need to have the uh, night cam on there. The yeah. run cam owl. Yeah, that'd be to nice. To see it work. That would look cool. <laughs> Um, you go to the side cam again, Joe. So there's the uh, Master Series Gem Fan props again. Got them in the silver and gold. We also, in the gold ones, we also have the 543 as well, and in the silver, we also have the 545 as well. So. Somebody said we need a 4x45 four four uh, quad blade. Somebody else asked, can the Alatus handle 6S? Can you handle the Alatus on 6S? Is probably the, the better question. <laughs> uh, the ESC can handle 6S. And the motor can, as long as you prop it down enough. So it might be a little bit of a struggle to take off without much uh, thrust on the motor because it's such a small prop uh, if, you, if you go down that low. But uh, I'd say the question is, is if you can handle it. So Somebody <laughs> said the, the Strix 5-inch quads are awesome. I yeah, assume they're on the Arc 210. Yeah. Yep. Great. Uh, one of my favorite uh, quads that we have come out with. Um, I've got two of them built up, and I've been flying it for the past couple months. I know Corey Grawalski just came in, give him a shout out. He bought a whole Strix Oct 210 setup with everything uh, ready made, the new rifle motors, and he's going to show me pictures. He's doing a nice clean build on it, so give a shout out to Corey. Yep. What's up, Corey? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's it. Yeah, All right, guys. Wrap it up. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our new products, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow, or Friday at 4, or 3 o'clock, I'm sorry. Yep, Facebook three Friday. It's 3, three, every, three o'clock every Friday. Every Friday. So. Yep. We'll see thanks you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Yep, thanks, thanks, guys. Take it easy. Have a good day and happy flying. Good weekend. Yep.